Hey, 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 Ron Rosbowski here, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's Top 5 video. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five things to do in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 as we build up to Five Nights at Freddy's 3 release and that get that hype train going. We're going to be talking about our favorite things to do in the previous games. So let's just jump straight in at number five. Ooh, in at number five, it is Spawn, that sexy golden Freddy. Now, Golden Freddy is a hidden easter egg character if you don't know who he is and to spawn him into the game you need to look at the poster and then go back into your office which spawns that beautiful rare bastard. The chances of him getting spawned into the game are 1 in a 100,000 chance. That is pretty damn rare but I mean if you can manage to spawn this guy in your game is a pretty worthwhile easter egg. That is exactly why Spawning Golden Freddy is in at number five. In at number four, we have got a little bit of a jokey one. We have got Moan about that damn fan. That fan is in all the games so far and we already have it confirmed that the fan is back for Five Nights at Freddy's 3 and it just sits there. It sits there humming away, just at peace with the world, making sure there's lots of noise going on, making sure it drains your power and gets you killed a lot quicker. <laughs> I um playing through the game. That's one thing that always annoyed me. I was like, that fan, that fan right there is drawn power. My power is going down to nothing. I've got to try and survive to 6 a.m. And that fan is just continually zzzzing in the background. And it just annoyed me. And that's why I have put Moaning of the Fan in at number four because it was something that I would always do and I think it deserves to be on this list. In at number three, guys, we have got Click Freddy's Nose. If you don't know about this Easter egg, if you go and click the poster that says Celebrate right on Freddy's Nose, he makes a little uh, honking noise. <laughs> and uh, it was, it's just its just something that you should do because, I mean, it's fun, it's uh, enjoyable, and it's a little bit of... It's another Easter egg that I think is definitely worth doing. Apart from playing the game normally, little things like Easter eggs kind of just... Uh, little things that you find out whilst playing are, are uh, integral to games i think they really do um, make um the atmosphere a little bit more a little bit better which is good as well and that's exactly why clicking freddy's nose is in number three in a number two we have a sexy menage a trois with a bonnie and chica if you've ever played the game to uh, night five and night six and even custom night seven you will know at some point Bonnie and Chica decide to double team you. Now, I'm not talking about the sexiest of double teamings. I'm talking about they like to try and destroy your booty at the same time. Now, that does sound sexy. I'm, 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 granted, that does sound a bit sexy. But when they both come at the doors, each side of you, you've got to close one. You've got to close the other one. They're both there. They both just stay there. They both just stay there waiting for you to mess up. And they just won't leave. They're just there staring with their stupid faces right at you. And just they just want to kill you. They just want to grab you, stuff you inside a suit. And I hate it when they both come at the same time. Why? Why AI, why random number generator gods have you allowed these vicious bastards to come and double team me? Why at the same time? Why can't I just deal with one? I mean, I know how the phone guy feels. He had them all coming at him at once as well, and it's just not fun. But it's definitely something you should experience in the game because it just adds the tension, it adds the spiciness and to the atmosphere and the imminent danger you are in as the as the the Nighttime security guard when they both come at you at the same time. And that's exactly why having a menage a trois, a sexy twosome um, of Bonnie and Chica. That's why that is in at number two. And then finally, guys, the number one thing that you should try and do in Five Nights at Freddy's is the 2020-2020 custom mode challenge. Now, when you complete that, when you complete that challenge, the ultimate bastion of challenges in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, you will feel elated. You will feel amazing. I'm gonna die, 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 it wasn't good enough, it wasn't good enough, was it? It wasn't good enough, was it? It wasn't good enough, was it? Where the hell are you, Freddy? Come at me then! Come at me then! If you're gonna come, come at me then! Come at me then, bro! No! 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 Third time lucky, motherfuckers! Third time lucky motherfuckers! But that is oh man. When I completed that, I was overcome with joy. It was unbelievable. I've been trying it for hours and hours and hours and hours. And when I eventually got through it by luck, 
Because it is, after you've got the skills down, it's luck after that. But when you completed it, I just jizzed. I jizzed everywhere. It just felt so good. And that is exactly why completing the Golden Freddy mode in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is the favorite, the best thing that you can do in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this top five things to do in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I'm sure there's going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's 2 top five things to do as well. If you'd like to see that, let me know down in the comment section below, along with what your favorite thing to do in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is. If you enjoyed today's video, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And I will see you soon for some more Five Nights at Freddy's videos. I love you all. I do. I'm not going to lie. I forgot how to do my outro. I've been Rosbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards, as always, for watching. And I love... Each and every single one of you. Goodbye!